coastal defense ships were warships built for the purpose of coastal defense, mostly during the period from 1860 to 1920. They were small, often cruiser-sized warships that sacrificed speed and range for armor and armament. They were usually attractive to nations that either could not afford full-sized battleships or that could be satisfied by specially designed shallow draft vessels capable of littoral operations close to their own shores. The Nordic countries in Thailand found them particularly appropriate for their island-dotted coastal waters. Some vessels had limited blue water capabilities. Others operated in rivers. The coastal defense ships differed from earlier monitors by having a higher freeboard and usually possessing both higher speed and a secondary armament. Some examples also mounted casemated guns. They varied in size from around 1,500 a tons to 8,000 a tons. Their construction and appearance was often that of miniaturized pre-dreadnought battleships. As such, they carried heavier armor than cruisers or gunboats of equivalent size, were typically equipped with a main armament of two or four heavy and several lighter guns in turrets or casements, and could steam at a higher speed than most monitors. In service they were mainly used as movable coastal artillery rather than instruments of sea control or fleet engagements like the battleships operated by blue water navies. Few of these ships saw combat in the First World War, though some did in the Second World War. The last were scrapped in the 1970s. Navies with coastal defense ships serving as their main capital ships included those of Belgium, Ecuador, Finland, Greece, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Sweden, Thailand, and the British colonies of India and Victoria. Some nations which at one time or another built, bought, or otherwise acquired their own frontline capital ships, such as Argentina, Austria-Hungary, Brazil, China, Germany, Russia, and Spain, also deployed this type of warship, with Russia using three at the Battle of Tsushima in 1905. Apart from specially built coastal defense ships, some navies used obsolescent pre-dreadnought battleships in this role. The Royal Navy deployed four Majestic-class battleships as guardships in the Humber at the start of the First World War. Similarly, the U.S. Navy redesignated the Indiana and Iowa classes as coast defense battleships in 1919. Such ships tended to be near the end of their service lives and while generally considered to no longer be fit for frontline service, they were still powerful enough for defensive duties in reserve situations. Categorization This type of vessel has always been categorized differently by different countries, due to treaties, differences in judgments related to design or intended roles, and also national pride. In the United Kingdom the Scandinavian ships were known as coast defense ships. The Germans called these ships Karl one quarter Stenpanzerschiff. The Danes referred to their ships as Kistforsvarskib and Panzerskib. In Norway they were referred to as Panzerskib. The Dutch called their ships cruiser, Panzerschip or Slagschip. The Swedish term for these ships was Panzerskip. As an example of the profusion of terms and classifications which often contradicted each other, the 1938 edition of Jane's Fighting Ships lists the Swedish Panzerskips of the Sverige class as battleships. The Swedish Panzerskip, the Swedish Panzerskip were an outgrowth of the earlier Swedish adoption of the monitor and were used for similar duties. Technical details, the Panzerskip, with the notable exception of the Sverige class, were relatively small vessels with limited speed, shallow draft, and very heavy guns relative to the displacement. They were designed for close inshore work in the littoral zone of Scandinavia, and other countries with shallow coastal waters. The aim was to outgun any ocean-going warship of the same draft by a significant margin, making it a very dangerous opponent for a cruiser, and deadly to anything smaller. The limitations in speed and seaworthiness were a trade-off for the heavy armament carried. Vessels similar to the Swedish Panzerskip were also built and operated by Denmark, Norway, and Finland, all of which had similar naval requirements. Effectiveness the Sverige class ships differed in several ways from the classical coastal defense ship, having heavier armament as well as better speed and armor. The main difference was to be noted in their tactical doctrine and operations. Unlike other coastal defense ships the Sverige class formed the core of a traditional open sea battle group, operating with cruisers, destroyers, 
torpedo boats, and air reconnaissance in conformance with traditional battleship tactics of the time. This Euro OMNI battle group Euro had no intention of challenging the superpowers in blue water battles, but rather were to operate as a defensive shield to aggression challenging Swedish interests and territory. Based on the doctrine that one needs a battle group to challenge other battle groups, this force intended to form a problematic obstacle in the confined and shallow Baltic and Kattegat theatre, where traditional large warships would be limited to very predictable moving patterns exposing them to submarines, fast torpedo craft, and minefields. It has been suggested that the Sverige class ships were one reason why Germany did not invade Sweden during World War II. Such speculation appeared in Warship Magazine Annual 1992 in the article The Sverige Class Coastal Defence Ships, by Daniel G. Harris. This could be said to have been partly confirmed in the post war publication of German tactical orders, and of scenarios regarding attacking Sweden. The problems of maintaining an army in Sweden without sea superiority were emphasised, and the lack of available suitable units to face the Swedish Navy was pointed out. Summarizing the question of effectiveness for the Sverige class, it is likely that despite a good armament they would have been too small, slow, and cramped, along with having insufficient range, to perform adequately against any traditional battler cruiser or battleship in a blue water scenario. However, if correctly used in their home waters and in a defensive situation, they would probably have presented a major challenge for any aggressor. The Dutch Panzerschepen the Dutch used their armoured ships mainly to defend their interests overseas, in particular their colonial possessions in the West Indies and the East Indies. For this reason the ships had to be capable of long-range cruising, providing artillery support during amphibious operations, and carrying the troops and equipment needed in these operations. At the same time, the ships had to be armed and armoured well enough to face contemporary armoured cruisers of the Imperial Japanese Navy and as such they were expected to act as mini-battleships rather than strictly as coastal defence vessels. The last Dutch Panzer ship, HNLMS de Zeven Provincien, was built in 1909 as a stopgap measure while the Dutch Admiralty and government contemplated an ambitious fleet plan comprising a number of dreadnought battleships. This ambition was never realised due to the outbreak of the First World War. The Second World War put an end to a similar project to obtain fast capital ships in the late 1930s with German assistance. Prior to the Second World War, the Dutch had relegated all the surviving Panzerskips to secondary duties. The Axis powers, who seized some of the ships following the conquest of the Netherlands, converted several to serve as floating anti-aircraft batteries and subsequently utilized some as block ships. Operators, Argentina El Plata class, El Plata, Los Andes. Independencia class, Independencia, Muiv de Julio. Austria Hungary, Kronprinzer class, SMSA Kronprinzessin Erza Tsagin Stephanie, SMSA Kronprinzessin Zog Rudolf. Monica class, SMSA Monarch, SMSA Wien, SMSA Budapest. Brazil, Barroso, Brazil, Lima Barros, Rio de Janeiro, Back. Silvado, Marazzi Barrosa class, Marazzi Barros, Herville. Cabrala class, Cabral, Colombo. Seat de Setembro, Javaya class, Javari, Silimos. Marshal Deodoro a class, Marshal Deodoro, Marshal Floriano. China, Ping Yuan. Denmark, Heluf Trolley a class, Heluf Troll, Olfert Fischer, Peter Scrum. Niels Jewel. Finland, Var currency in a currency ma paragraph in an class panzer eleva ships, Ilmarinen, Var currency in a currency ma paragraph in an Germany, Oldenburger, 1884, Siegfried a class, Siegfried, Werwolf, Frithjof, Hagen, Heimdall, Hildebrand. A dinner class, Odin, a Gur. The Netherlands, Evertsen a class, HNLMSA Evertsen. HNLMSA Piet Hain, HNLMSA Kortmer. Koningen Regent is a class, HNLMSA Koningen Regents, HNLMSA De Ruta, HNLMSA Hirtog Hendrik. HNLMSA Martin Harpertso on Tromp, HNLMSA Jacob van Hiemsk, 
HNLMSA de Zeven Provincia N. Norway, Tordenskjold de Klaas, Hano MSA Tordenskjold, Hano MSA Harald Harfager. Utsvold de Klaas, Hano MSA Utsvold, Hano MSA Norge. Jergevina Klaas, both ships were requisitioned by the Royal Navy during World War I while under construction, completed and served as the monitors HMSA Glatten and HMSA Gorgon, Hano MSA Jergevin, Hano MSA Nidaros. Portugal, Vasco da Gama. Russia, Uragana class, Novgoroda class, later reclassified as coastal defense armor clade ships, Novgorod, Rear Admiral Popov. Admiral Ushokov class, Admiral Ushokov, Admiral Senyavin, General Admiral Graf Apriksen. Sweden, Svi class, Svi, Gar Paragraf Ta, Thule. Odina class, Odin, Thor, Nyad. Dristagetan, Arana class, Aran, Wasa, Tapahetan, Manlagetan. Oscar II, Svarigi class, Svarige Gustav V, Drottning Victoria. Thailand, Rotanakasina class, Rotanakasin, Sukhothe. Thonburia class, HTMSA Sri Aadal, HTMSA Thonburi. India, Serbaruza class, Magdala, Abyssinia. British Colony of Victoria, Cerberusa class, HMVSA Cerberus. See also, K. Bacan, references. External links, media related to coastal defense ships at Wikimedia Commons.